Hi, I'm Ron. I'm here at the MVP uh, Summit uh, 2010. I'm here with uh, Chris Roth. Hi, a everybody. Long, he's a longtime Visio expert, and you run the Visio Guy website. That's uh, right. www.vizguy.com. No Z, it's an S. It's an S. Vizguy.com. Thank you. And we are going to talk about an interesting use of uh, Visio. Not just flowcharts, not just network diagrams. Scale drawings. Scaled drawings. <laughs> they actually came through the website and said, maybe you can help us. You seem to know what you're talking about when it comes to Visio. And we're actually laying out our cargo, planning how we'll load cargo onto our shipping vessels using Visio. Now, for those of you that think Visio is only for flowcharts or network diagrams, the reason they're able to do this is Visio can actually work in scaled dimensions. So they can actually draw their ship, which is 300 feet long, and draw boxes and circles and balls and things that are two measures, six foot long, five foot five, two meters. They're in Europe, actually. They don't use feet. So they were happy to find this capability out, but the problem was they still had to draw every piece of cargo. They were selling a oil refinery from Germany and delivering it to India, for example. So they had lots of odd bits of cargo that they actually needed to push around on a piece of virtual paper using Visio. They're quite happy with the capabilities that they could work in scale, push things around like we pushed Legos around when we were kids. But they still had to create all of these pieces from their bill of materials listing. They had length, width, and height, and they had it in Excel. Ears perked up. They had Visio, they like it, they've got Excel data. Hmm, what can we do? So the first part is, since I can program Visio, Visio is customizable in so many ways, I won't get into all of them. I was able to read through Excel using VBA code and create two measure shapes automatically for them that they all they had to do is push a button, read in an Excel file, and they had all their cargo shapes drawn to scale, and they could just arrange them on the ship deck as they needed. Now, the interesting thing is they were using an older version of Visio. With the newer version, they could have brought the Excel file directly into Visio. I could have built one shape that responded to length, width, and height data, and they could have linked each record in that Excel file automatically to a Visio shape. So just with a few drag and drop operations, they would have had all of that cargo generation done without any code at all. So they saw uh, this cargo dynamically resizing. What was their, uh, what was their reaction to your solution? They said, this is going to save us hours every day. Thanks, Chris. It's been a great, uh, great talking to you. Uh, you've really inspired me to go have some fun with Visio. Fun. Fun. fun.